This video summarizes everything I learned about getting Holly's Terminator X system to work well on a Fox body Mustang. Step one, adjust the idle blade screw until the blade is just beyond the point of binding in the bore. The idea is to make all of the idle airflow go through the IAC valve so it operates in its linear range. This is contrary to the Holly instructions. Step two, perform a TPS auto set. Don't fiddle with the throttle body screw again or you'll have to do another TPS auto set. Leave it alone. Step three, set up the IAC settings like this. Pause the video to study the screenshot. Step four, create an advanced 1D table to add IAC position based upon RPM. Your numbers and slope may take some tweaking to get it to idle down slowly, but this is the basic idea. To learn more about how to do this, click the link above. Step five, lower the IAC park position to compensate for the IAC percentage increase from the 1D table. The 1D table is adding a lot of IAC position by default, so less IAC park is needed to get the engine to fire when cranking. Step six, create a 2D table to get OEM-like engine braking on D-cell. Without this table, the IAC will hang open per the 1D table, which wastes gas and is kind of annoying. Note that the RPM scale and the top value is the same as the 1D table. The idea here is to cancel out the effects of the 1D table on engine decel for a period of time, but ramp the 1D table back in as the engine approaches idle speed. Go back and pause this video at each screenshot so you can copy the values and try it out.